Do YouTube, it's your boy Jay, and I'm back at it with another video. Now, today video, bro, we're gonna be going over the shop making and the play sharp, and we're gonna see. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys in my opinion which one is better. Now, obviously, you want to make them a shooting guard. Both of them, if you make either one of these builds, make them shooting guard, bro. <clears throat> now we're gonna get into the badges first, bro. Then we're gonna get into the you know attributes, and then I'm gonna let you guys know which one is the best for me, or probably well, which one is the best overall. Now the play sharp. We're gonna look at the play sharp first. As you see, they get eight gold. Here go the gold badges. Okay. Here go the silver badges. All right. Here go the bronze badges. <clears throat> now, in my opinion, bro, I think the shop maker has the best badges out of the two. Check this out. Now you just saw the uh, play short badges. Check this out. Now we're gonna do shop shop maker. Okay. Here go. They got eight gold. So. <clears throat> they get difficult shots gold. They still get anchor breaker gold. You know what I'm saying? Now silver, they get the shooting badges silver. <laughs> they get live city finisher silver. So you a offensive god with this build. Now the only downfall is you get limitless range bronze. But I mean, hey, the shot. I mean, the play sharp only get it silver. So just think about it. You don't have sharp shooting in your build, and you still got the other. Three shooting badges silver. Like, just think about that. You only losing out on one badge, and that's limited range. And of course, on the other one, pick and roll, live city pass of gold. But I mean, just okay, look at the gold badge. You get mid range dead eye. Contest the mid range for some of y'all. You get difficult shots. You get Tyler score, trip drop, up and under, one man fan break, free throw, ace, and ankle break. Silver, corner special, deep range, catch and shoot, live city finish, acrobat, relentless finish. So they just. Them badges silver let you know you can finish at the rack, you can shoot middies, and you can shoot threes. So look, check this out. Now we're gonna go into the attributes. So the shot maker got it on the badge, the badge side, the shot maker won. Now <clears throat> we're gonna go play sharp again. Show y'all the attributes. I mean, these will change. Well, I'm we just gonna go, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna make like everything identical. You feel me? <clears throat> so for example. The shot maker, we're gonna make him 6'5 minimum wingspan because you can speed boost at 9. This dude, we're gonna make him 6'6 six, six minimum wingspan because you can speed boost at 8 and 9. Because I know speed boost is all y'all care about. But that's all I care about. I like to dribble ISO. I like to be a dominant player, bro. Like, I'm I'm the type that uh, love to score 21 if I got the event. You feel me? But check this out. You're gonna go minimal weight. <clears throat> now, I'm just gonna let you guys know off real. After y'all watch this video, bro, y'all will see why I think the shot maker is the best overall built out of these two. Now check this out. So you want to go minimal wingspan? Now you gonna tap trying. Watch this. <laughs> the standard, <clears throat> the standard layup. Screw me. Standard layup is an 84. Okay. Standard dunk 57. Your mid is an 84 and your three ball is an 81. Keep that in mind. Your three ball is a 81. Okay. Your ball control is a 90. Your speed with ball is an 86. Okay, y'all see the rest of this moving shot me at 79. But keep the three ball in mind. 81 three ball. You short shoot secondary, right? Alright. Pass vision, all that 91. Post hook, post fade, all that 71. Box out 58. Rebound 71. Steal 71. Block 59. Shot contest 60. Vertical 75. Now vertical is important on the guard because you can really get up there and get rebounds over centers like I have done it before lateral quickness 78 speed 85 acceleration 83 now <clears throat> screw we gonna also look at the 6-4 play sharp I know a lot of you guys probably go 6-4 instead of 6-6 six, six, so we gonna just look at both and we gonna compare both to a 6-5 shot man now as you guys know I don't I don't like to short my players, you know what I'm saying? I really, I don't like short my player, bro. I like to have height on me. 6'5", I feel like that's a good height. And plus, I already got a shot maker, so, yeah. But as you guys finna see here, we gonna go minimum, well, hold on, minimum. Okay, see, minimum wingspan, you got an 83 three ball. That's minimum wingspan with 6'4". 
you know, your open shot mid went to an 86 if you 6 4. Moving mid went to an 80. You got a 93 ball control. Speed with ball, 91. You know, all that good stuff. 72. 75 vertical, 79. Lateral quickness. All right, here go the rest of the stuff. Now, let's look at the shot maker. So, <clears throat> for the shot maker. We gonna make them six five because six five minimum wingspan. You can speed boost at nine overall, and as you guys know, nine overall is not that hard to get to. I was up all night thinking on which one of these two build was the best, but after I compared it, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. I'm sorry for all that, but as I compared it, the shot maker came out on top, bro. Now you guys finna see here in a moment. Now we are gonna make the shot maker the minimum weight. 175. Now, but this the thing with the shot maker, bro. You can go up on your wingspan by one and still have a 90 ball control. So what I mean by that, you put it down, you go up to 80.3. Hold on, let me show you guys 79.3. Okay, the open shot mid is a 92. Now look, check this out, you guys. Yo, three is a 81. On the six four, your open shot three was a 83. That's just two points, and you're not even a sharpshooter. And keep in mind, you still get the catch and shoot silver, corner silver, limitless range. I mean, you get a brown, but you still got it. As you guys see, you get a 90 ball control. Your speed with ball is an 85. Okay? Your pad vision is an 80. Post is an 80. Rebound 71. Steal 70. Block 60. Shot contest 63. You get an 80 vertical, 81 lateral quitting, so you better. You feel me? You can jump higher. <laughs> You get an 87 speed, 89. Now on the 64, I think your speed was an 89. 89 uh, acceleration. So, as you guys just see off this, I mean, yo, dunk, look at the layups. 88, 86, 88. Standard dunk, 61. Driving, 78. You feel me? Now we're going to go up one on the wings. Now, of course, your three dropped down to an 80. But you still in the 80s and you didn't put sharpshooter. You feel me? You got a 90 mid max. 87 off dribble mid. Like, you got. It. In my opinion, bro, the shot maker is clearly better than the, than the play short, bro. Just think about it. 2K really robbed the play short. If you think about it, the play short, 6 4 minimal wingspan got an 83 3 ball. The shot maker minimal wingspan had a what? 81? Where is it? 81 3 ball. It's just two points off, you guys. Don't be fooled by 2K, bro. They really robbed the play shorts. I mean, if you still want to make a play short, be my guest. Go ahead. But me, I think I'm going to rock with this shot maker. Because, one, they get way better bash. They can still speed boost. And then for the park size up moves, like the street ball park moves, you need an 86 ball control for that. So you could get that on this dude. Like, the only thing the play short got over this dude is a higher three ball by what? Two points? Just think about that, y'all. Two points. And you put short shooting primary, I ain't put, I mean, short shooting secondary, and this build don't have short shooting at all? But anyway, and so, like I was saying, the only thing the play short got over this build is a higher three ball by two points. And, you know, they faster, ball control up by three. You know, stuff like that. But the main difference is that they got limitless range silver in this bag. I mean, this dude get limitless range bronze. But them the only two different. So if you're looking for a dominant built just to dominate and do everything on the court from shoot, dunk, pass, you feel me, defense, go shot maker. But if you're looking for more speed and like a little bit better three ball, go play short. But you guys... At the end of the day, bro, the shot maker is obviously the better of my player, in my opinion. Now, you guys probably have different opinions on it. But in my opinion, the shot maker, you know, it got that, man. So, I'm a, uh, I got a shot maker already. So, this shot maker is going to be the play. I'm going to try to hit 99 overall with. Or 95, because, you know. Oh, yeah, and another thing you got. Think about when you hit, I think, 95 overall. Or 94 overall. It's, it's, I think it's 94 overall. You get to take over bad for your secondary. So for us now, I'm gonna go over both. The shot crane primary, playmaker secondary. So I already got the shot, the takeover for my shot crane, but when I hit 94, I have for my playmaker. 
So that mean like when I dribble, like I'ma get ankle breakers like a playmaker again. Even though I still get those ankle breakers, I'm saying like this year 2K added like different type of ankle break. Cause I saw one where I broke a dude in career. And like after he got up off the flow, like he fell right back down. Like he crawled. You feel me? So I'm guessing this was only for playmakers. So secondary here, you get, I mean, you get those. Hey, that's a lick. But if you did a play sharp, so play sharp, you already get those. But when you hit 94, you get the takeover for your sharpshooter. Your sharp shooting. I mean your secondary skill. So I mean that probably give that a lip boost at three. I mean a little bit more three, power for three than the uh shot crane playmaker. But I think I'm gonna rock with the shot crane playmaker, bro. You feel me? But hey man, if whatever you guys wanna do, the shot maker is the best, like to be an all around yeah, offensive yeah. player and play defense. But hey bro, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It's your boy Jay and I'm out. Peace.